Hi, uh, welcome to another five minute session and this time about something called sheen which are like a layer on top of a material that gives reflections so it feels more real when you're working with cloth but it can also be really good for things like dust and to show it I needed some objects so I just quickly made some sofa here so quality is not that high it's just that we need to have something here and if we look at the material right now i just added a principled and now we should also work with the sheen here but before that i would like to have some bumps and i can use a magic texture for that one so i press shift a go to input a texture corner so we have something and then we use the magic texture so shift a texture magic texture and we can take the scale really high up like 200 or something and use the object and then I need a bump map so shift a vector and a bump and I take the factor to the height and the normal to the normal and you can see we get a lot of stuff in here you can get really really close so you can see that we have like a cloth pattern here it could be even higher so like 300 or something and then it's a little bit too strong so we just take down and now you can see clearly the pattern here take down also the distance a bit so now we have something that will be really good together with the sheen so right now it doesn't feel so much it's just a bump map and uh, some color and now when i add a weight from the sheen you will see what happens so it start to reflect here and in all the edges it will then get more reflections out here so it's almost like uh, some type of Fresnel effect on top of your material where you get this reflection here and then you get this soft look of your cloth so it's almost like velvet and you can then use tint here to add whatever extra tint color that you need to your material and if i take the weight all the way up here you then get this smooth cloth cloth feeling but everything depends really much on roughness so with the low roughness it's more like small shiny particles like in in like snow or something like that can take this to be really white first so you see it so when i move around I can take up the roughness just a tiny bit so you can see it look especially on the arms here where you can see how, how it reflects and also here where i have some reflection when i move it so with really uh, low roughness you get all these small small reflections all over the place but with high roughness, you almost cover the total sofa in only the tint color. And with high roughness, this is really good for dust because that adds a small extra layer on top of the material that really, really looks like dust. And I will show you an example of that as well. So we can keep this, but I can do some dust as well. And then I use my uh, texture coordinate, but I use the normal. So from the normal, I separate X, Y, Z. And then I can use the Z to control the weight. And then you can see now that we get everything on the top and everything looks good. And of course, we can add some noise to it. So Shift A, texture and a noise texture and just multiply it. So Shift A. And go to converter math and we multiply and now you can see we get some variations and can connect that to the object as well so now we have some variations in our dust here and it looks like a really old sofa so it's really good to use for dust as well but then you should have high roughness and when you then take it down it gets you can still use it as roughness but if you go like low like this it's uh, not so much as dust it's uh, more like as i said before 
crystals in snow or something like that. So it's really good to control reflections on surfaces and together with tint here you can then do a lot of nice stuff together with the sheen here and without the principle you can also reach the sheen uh, by pressing shift a go to shader and uh, here you have sheen and then you can mix that together with other shaders as well to make a uh, more complex um, cloth out of it but now you have some introduction to sheen and know a little bit about what it is so i say bye for now and see you tomorrow